Welcome back, everyone, to another episode here of Scamping with Jay. Uh, it is camping's version of springtime cleaning. Uh, so I haven't touched any of my gear, really looked at any of my gear since my last trip in January. It is now May 1st, and I have a trip coming up uh, next week. So I'm going to go through, put all the stuff back in that I need for spring, summer, fall, take out all the stuff that I might need for winter, which I'm pretty sure I did already. Um, but this might get long and long-winded. We'll see. Hopefully I'm going to try and keep it short. We're going to speed through these three bags really quick. This is clothes, uh, socks, underwear, a couple pairs of sweatpants, long sleeve shirt, um, uh, long john bottoms, Spring and fall, it's a little hard to pack for because you can look at a weather report, but you really don't know what it's going to be like until you get out there. So summertime, obviously, you know you're going for all warm weather stuff. Wintertime, you're going for all cold weather stuff. Spring and fall, got to pack a few more things just to make sure you're covered for all of it. But this is my clothes bag. Nothing special about that. Uh, this is my electronics bag. You guys already know about all this. Power banks, Bluetooth speaker, um, vaping stuff I started to put in this one just so I can keep them separate. Um, so that's basically what these are. This is electronics and vaping. All right, we will get on to the big one here that's going to eat up most of the time, and that is my big tool bag here now, like I said I've taken out a lot of I don't know if you can see this mess back here but this is all stuff that I've packed differently for winter time because um, obviously in the winter time you don't just keep your gear out uh, like you tend to do in the spring summer and fall where everything's just readily available uh, winter time you want to keep it quick simple that way you're not putting in a whole lot of work when it's cold out. So, yikes. All right, fire starter cubes, definitely want to keep those. Um, duct tape, definitely want to keep that. My end table, definitely want that still in there. My lantern, can't believe this thing still works. Uh, the solar panel on it is broken because uh, the top came off, ripped the wires out of it, and I haven't bothered to fix it because, well, I don't need to. Uh, I can charge it with the USB. Uh, bag, oh, dirty winter clothes. This can all go in the laundry. Damp rid. Did not work for the winter tent, but uh, I may have use for these in the basement here. So, not... A complete waste of money. Uh, hexamine fuel tablets for my stove. Definitely I'll need those. Uh, my stove. My kettle for boiling water. My toilet. Cable ties, paracord, bungee cord. Another random bungee cord thing. I think this was for my sleeping mat uh, which I hmm I have to go find that sleeping mat because that's going to be going back in here so there's tarp uh, packable rain pants Get into one of the four pockets. Uh, beer koozies, shovel, and lighters. Uh, lighters we are going to put over here with the vaping slash electronics bag. And we'll figure out how we want to rearrange these pockets for this year. Some of you watched my video last year, others I'm sure haven't, but uh, I did this last year when I first put everything in this bag. Uh, as you can see, it ripped pretty bad, but I've got that stitched back up. Uh, tactical spoon, more hexamine tablets. 
Good to know that I'm good to go on hexamine tablets for uh, a few trips. Can boil up some water. Uh, first aid kit. Sparker thing that I've still yet to use, but I hold on to it anyway. That pocket is empty now. This one here, garbage bags, more garbage bags. Um, aspirin, that could probably go with the first aid kit when I repack everything. Uh, more beer koozies. Uh, toothpicks. Tums. And another lighter. Yeah, I can never find a lighter at home because they're all in my camping gear. Alright. So, this bag is completely empty. Short intermission while I go find that sleeping pad. Apparently I didn't see my entire trunk underneath the bed, so we'll be going through this really quick too. That reattached and get this out of the way. This, this, and this out of the way back here. And we'll get this up here. Well, that's just garbage bags. Those aren't fragile. Oh, look, some of the camping clothes I was looking for. Sweatpants, couple t-shirts, uh, another hoodie, beanie, tank top, swim trunks, all summertime stuff. Uh, sleeping pad, other sleeping pad, Old tent, uh, rain fly for old tent, it's another sleeveless t-shirt, more summertime gear. Okay, that is empty. So, we're going to get this back up here. We are going to be eliminating some things, trying some new things. Remembering that I have things because it's a problem when you pack something so specific, you, you tend to forget what you actually have. Um, so a few of these things, it's like, oh, I didn't even realize I was still carrying that. So first thing I'm going to eliminate is this sleeping mat. Um, this is an inflatable one, supposedly self-inflating. Not really. Um, it sucks. I'll just put it that way. It sucks. Uh, unless you're going to spend big money on the uh, expensive inflatable ones, the cheap inflatable ones, uh, I have come to a conclusion just simply aren't worth it. Um, this one started when the pillow, well, I originally got a separate pillow with my first one. Uh, that pillow popped trip one. Uh, so then I bought this one, installed pillow. I uh, got about three, four trips out of the pillow on this one. Pillow popped. And it's just not worth its size versus its comfort. So we're going to go ahead and retire that one to the green can outside that the nice people pick up once a week and take to the dump for me. Um, what I have in replacement is I still have this one, which by itself is not great, but I did buy a $17 yoga mat. So I am thinking that one 
plus this yoga mat should be okay. Um, I did lay on this yoga mat very briefly on my floor. It's better than the floor, but then again, a hardwood floor is smooth, level, no rocks. So we'll see how it actually works out in the woods. So I also still in the trunk of the car have a yoga mat that is on loan from my coworker. Uh, also those four puzzle piece pads that you saw in my winter camping video, I still also have those because it's still too cold for him to set up his kid's pool and that's what all that stuff is for. Uh, another thing that I am going to be eliminating is my old tent. Now, some of you may have seen the Facebook post. I did buy a newer tent. Uh, I found a smaller one-person tent that's not reliant on the stakes to hold it up. And just to be perfectly honest with you, this one here, it is not waterproof in the slightest. So I was wondering why I've got a tent with no visibility and no waterproof abilities. So you will see in another video my new tent, but you've seen pictures of it already. Uh, it is just a screen tent. There is no rain fly. It's wide open. So you can, you know, lay there and look out into the woods if you want to, or lay there and look up at the stars and not get eaten alive by mosquitoes. It is also... A lot smaller this is this is new tent this is old tent <laughs> no. and see it's it's smaller in girth and shorter in length so in the world of camping sometimes smaller is better Okay, so on top of that, we're going to throw in the paracord, cable ties, bungee cord we'll keep out because we might use that to pack something a little tighter or smaller in here. So, garbage bags. We're going to do garbage bags in this pocket. We'll throw the beer koozies in that pocket as well. Zip that one up. All right, now we're going to go over here. And this one here will make our first aid pocket. So, first aid kit, aspirin, tums, throw the toothpicks in there. should be good for now this one over here we'll call this our fire starting pocket so sparky thing uh, hexamine tablets I know I had more than oh there they are Hexamine tablets, Duraflame fire starter cubes, and I would put, I'll put two lighters in there. Actually, just put one lighter in there and we'll keep the other. That way there's a lighter in there with all the fire making stuff. last pocket we will do tools so shovel knives knives spoon see I know I had two of those spoons and I've got no idea where uh, where it ended up a couple more items for the cooking can just go in the big pocket oh that was the uh, my kettle uh, 
Okay, so that can all go in there. Stove can go in the cooking pocket. And here's what I mean, unless I get like so on labels, like I, I don't remember what pocket is which, but I do separate them into pockets and then Sunday morning I'm tired, want to go home, so I just throw everything together and I end up with this mess. So, ah, telescoping hot dog spears. These have worked quite well. Uh, I've only used the one, but uh, it's a pretty simple concept, but it works. Um, none of the chrome or finish appears to be coming off on my food yet. Um, these were cheap, were found on eBay. Um, but so far, so good. I can't complain about the price I paid for them. It cooks a hot dog over a campfire. All right, so that pretty much takes care of all our pockets. Gets the new gear that we're going to try this year into it. So now let's just try and pack everything else that we found. Uh, that is my small footprint tarp. I also have a larger tarp that you all have seen in past videos. Uh, that will be coming with me as well. Um, my collapsible toilet. That can go there. Uh, this is my end table. Definitely going to need that. Chair is already in the trunk of the car. Packable rain pants. Um, the only reason I carry these is just because they are so small and light. I don't see myself ever really needing these with the changes of the clothes I bring and I, I don't really look to go camping in the rain. Um, I'll deal with a passing shower but I'm gonna cancel the trip if it's gonna be nothing but a weekend of rain so but to each their own. I mean, like I said, I keep them in there just because they're not that heavy. Uh, this is my tripod, camping tripod. Obviously, I'm using my home tripod right now. Uh, random tent stakes. Now, yes, these are tent stakes that came with tents, which means they're pretty much garbage, but sometimes a garbage tent stake is better than no tent stake at all. So, again like the packable rain pants. I don't see myself ever needing them, but it would suck if I did need them and didn't have them with me. Uh, baby wipes. Mosquito repellent. So the baby wipes I will pack with something else in one of these side pockets. I think I want to try and get it in with the garbage bags and uh, koozies. There we go. That'll fit right in there. Obviously took those out for wintertime camping because, well, they'll just freeze. But in the summertime they can be refreshing, you know, to hit the pits and the crotch and stuff uh, after a sweaty day and there's no shower or facilities available. Again, something's better than nothing. Uh, my mosquito repellent stuff I will be packing in probably with my electronics again just to keep that separate and easy to get to because uh, when it is needed that's something I use right away upon getting to the site so you want to have that handy and not uh, buried under a bunch of things. Couple MREs from last year don't worry they're still good this one March of 2051 this one December 2051 so I can uh, forget that I have these for another 20 camping seasons and they will still be good as long as the bag doesn't get punctured but you just take care of them and it's nice to have an emergency meal in case something goes south uh, duct tape lantern lantern again is dead so I will leave that out to charge with all of my electronics fold this over all right and we'll stay 
setting this up on end. Off camera, sorry. <laughs> Uh, same old sleeping bag. Uh, this one will be getting replaced before uh, this summer season is over. Um, this was a very cheap sleeping bag, uh, but it's done well. I mean, when it got soaking wet, it dried really fast. Um, so that's one good thing. Uh, it kept me mostly warm, but uh, if it's cool at all, I've got to you know keep my sweatpants on, keep my wool socks on. But it does an all right job, but we're going to go ahead and get that replaced anyway. Uh, but that pretty much wraps it up. I have this mess kit, but uh, ever since I bought that kettle, I, I just don't really use this anymore. Because um, I just heat up my water in the kettle and add that to the MRE, or I'll have hot dogs over the fire. Like, I, I just don't have... It's light and doesn't take up much room, but it's also a lot of air that I don't need to be carrying around. So that won't get thrown away. That'll get stashed somewhere and forgotten about. Maybe I'll come across it. Uh, so last thing I wanted to wrap this video up with was I had a text conversation with my nephew earlier this week uh, regarding gear. And it made me realize that maybe I haven't brought out uh, part of this show that uh, to me is a very important part of this show uh, that I'm trying to get out there. And that's that I try to keep everything under a certain budget. Um, obviously, when you buy cheap gear, you're going to have more downs than ups. But unless you're an extreme camper and you're going to go up to the mountains or into a thunderstorm and you're going to brave it, uh, I'm not going to buy the best gear that's out there. So, yeah, we were talking about my new tent, which you'll see in a future video, about how it doesn't have a rain fly, it's not waterproof, and, you know, he had pointed out that, you know, I could get a tent. Here's a nice one that looks just like it. $140. Yeah. Uh, I found mine on Amazon for $45.99, minus a $25 gift card that I earned by playing video games on a certain app for five days in a row, um, building up gems until I got to a ridiculous amount of gems. Basically, it wasn't worth the time. I probably got paid about, oh, a buck an hour, buck 25 an hour to sit there and play games I'd never play, but I got the $25 gift card to get that tent down to $22 or $23, whatever it was. So th that's another thing I just wanted to bring up is uh, I am showing that you don't have to spend top dollar to go out in the woods and have a good time. Uh, you are going to have some people out there that tell you you need the $300 tent, you need the $200 sleeping bag, you need the $100 sleeping mat. None of that is this case, is the case. Now, if you are a you know extreme backpacker who's not going to be turned away by weather then yeah, you are gonna need these nicer items, but for your average camper that's gonna go out on fair weather weekends, you're good to go. You're good to go, you can buy anything as long as you're comfortable, as long as you're having fun, you're not doing anything wrong. So, with that being said, uh, I'm gonna get to the editing process of this one, and we will see you next time.